Well, here at historic Riggs Field tonight, Lady Tigers, a huge win over Notre Dame in double overtime. One to nothing. Don Munson, Eddie Redwanski along with you. Huge win for your club. That's all that can be said. It's a big win. You're talking about, you know, these are two top ten teams. You know, Notre Dame's got a wonderful tradition. Uh, you know, for us, this was kind of another opportunity for our program to show that we're making progress. And in these last steps are the hardest ones because it's a short distance and you're dealing with some of the top teams in the conference. But kids showed a tremendous amount of grit and iron and stability and strength to, to, to get it to win a game like that. I mean, we, we played them last year and it was it's a close game. It's a stalemate. You know, obviously we got great saves from Kalen early on. We had, we had we had chances and it was just we felt if we could just get an opportunity, something could happen of it. And credit to, you know, Claire jumping on that ball and spinning it in and ends up in the corner. And, you know, that's the difference. Talk about that play by Wagner because she gets down here not far from where we're standing. You can tell us look across. You can see Anastasio maybe coming across on but just a little chip. And I don't know if Little misplayed it, if she thought that Anastasio was going to try to get there. But whatever, man, it finds the back of the neck. And that's when this place erupts. Yeah, you know what, that, that, that goal is not down to the keeper because we've all seen it in Champions League yep. games. You know, Claire did a good job because she whips it in on her right foot, so it's an in-swinger, and the keeper's got to deal with the traffic. She's worrying about here comes Salma, here comes another player. You know, she has to kind of hold her ground, and, the, you know, from my angle, I could see, oh, this thing hits the ground, it's spinning and going in, and, if you know, it had eyes for the corner. So uh, that's just a difficult, you know, we, we, we talked about can we get the ball in the box, can we create some dangerous situations, which we did, and, you know, it just took a little bit longer to pull one out. But it was a great goal. Kids deserved it. It's a wonderful win against a good team. And we're going to enjoy our three points for the moment. Absolutely. And then lastly, just talk about the backside defense of your team because you talked a little bit, of, you know, about Sheridan and Nett, but the backside of your defense, I thought was really, really good here tonight. Well, yeah, the, I mean, the back four plus Katie Sprouse, you know, the, the twins, Gabby and Emily, Claire, Sam, they were rock solid tonight. We really didn't concede an awful lot of chances. Uh, you know, we had a little issue early on with set pieces, and we kind of corrected that. But uh, you're, you're right. It, you know, obviously we have a fantastic keeper back there, but the group in front of them yep. did a really fun, fine job. And there are moments in a game like this, they're a good team. You know, we, we let them have the ball to, to do a little bit of recovery and keep them in front of us. And we're strong enough, united enough, that we could, you know, protect our goal there for a while and buy a little bit of time. But... You know, it was, honestly, everybody who stepped on the field gave a great effort tonight, whether it was 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and God bless the kids that went the whole way. Happy man, Ed Redwanski, his club, a winner, one to nothing over Notre Dame. Thanks for being with us here on ClemsonTigers.com.